My name is Caitlin Dawn Harvey Millett. Yes, I have two last names. One comes from my mom, one comes from my dad. They never got married, and after I was born, they broke up. Harvey goes from my mom, but no, I'm not actually Harvey. You can ask if I know this Harvey or that Harvey. I'm going to tell you at this point, oh yeah, he's my grandpa. I know him. I don't. I'm just tired of the last name. I'm just related to Kyle, who's my brother. Millett comes from my dad. It is pronounced mullet, not mallet or mullet or mullet, because I have heard all of the above. I think it's pretty irritating. Mullet, mullet. Is that French? No, Italian. Okay. Mulet, but turn to mullet. The first thing I want to talk about is my family. You can see pictures of both of my brothers, my mom, my stepdad, my cat, my dogs. Our family has been through a lot. A lot. A lot of depression, which is really hard to deal with, and a lot of alcoholism, which put my family through the ringer. Um, and this isn't a bad thing, but we've had to deal with it. My grandpa's a transsexual. So I grew up with him as a man, and now he is female. And that's not bad, not at all. I'm not saying that's bad. But it's, it was very difficult to deal with. So my family has definitely taught me to not judge people. Everyone's going to have problems at home. You might not see it. You might be smiling at school, but you might have problems at home, at work, at school. So the biggest thing that I've learned from my family is don't judge people, just let them be. Now you might not understand this, <laughs> but it's showing that I love to learn. I love to learn everything. I love to learn how to do things. I like learning a little bit of this and a little bit of this. And last year, I decided I wanted to learn how to throw knives. So for Christmas, my dad bought me two sets of throwing knives. And I know how to throw knives. Also, I wanted to learn how to play the piano. So I did. This is my piano booklet. You know, all sheet music. I love playing the piano. I love hearing the music and knowing that I was the one creating it. I can't play the piano anymore for family reasons, but I will continue in the future. And my friends can attest to this. In eighth grade, I was obsessed with K-pop. I don't know if you guys know what that is, that's Korean pop music. I was infatuated with it. I loved it. So I had to learn the language. And I had to learn it now. I had to learn it. So I told my mom, Mom, I need to learn Korean. I to learn. <laughs> so I took lessons for four or five months. I don't take it anymore. The most I can remember is Bohail which is, hello, how are you? That's that's all I remember from. That wasn't my thing. I grew up with it. That, that is one of the things about loving to learn. People can think that you're sketchy or that you don't want to commit to things. It's not that. It's that I want to know what I'm good at. I want to know what I like. And the only way I can do that is by trying everything. The last thing I want to talk about is my future plans. As you all can see, there's a big question mark. And I'm pretty sure, I, okay, I'm gonna say, I think quite a, few can, quite a few of you guys can relate to not knowing what you wanna do. I see some head nods, yes. I am so unsure, maybe it's because I'm 16, maybe it's because I'm a girl, maybe it's because I'm stressed all the time, but I stress so much over my future, over how I'm gonna do an ACT, over what college classes I need to take, I stress. But I am coming to terms with just relaxing and taking it day by day, because I do have options, as you can see, the yeah, MSU so no, it's not about sports, about football, any of that. It's a very good vet school, and animals are part of my family, and I think that could be a possible choice for me. And then you can see a picture of the country. I want to live in the country somewhere. Not that the city doesn't appeal to me, because it does, but I've always been called towards Tennessee. I've drove through there, and it's beautiful. That's where I want to end up. All in all, you can call me Katie. I'm 16 years old. I'm a girl, let's see. I'm a junior at Shepherd High School. I am trying to make it through high school. I'm trying to find my way in the world, and this is me. Cool. <laughs>